Today on Number 6 with Cheese, we're headed back to the International McDonald's in the West Loop. On Tuesday, we had the Prosperity Burger. It was weird. And today, we're headed back for a Chinese Kung Pao chicken sandwich. Let's do it. Double Kung Pao crispy chicken sandwiches from China here at the International McDonald's acquired Jump Cut. All right, Sixers, on Tuesday, we had that Prosperity Burger from Singapore. It was odd. Today, we know we like double crispy chicken because we had it at a local spot, the General Sow's version, and loved it. General Sow's chicken from Bites. Cheers. Sandwich, cheers. Mmm, oh my god. Oh, the chicken's so good. That sauce is amazing. Yeah. Today, the fast food version, kind of, without the general sounds, it's Kung Pao. Corey Wagner's second angle. All right, got a nice little box here. Let's open it up, see what we got. Weird little bun, got the crucifix up on there. I don't know if Jesus approves, but well, let's see what's underneath. And there's some little chicken patties and some sauce on there and some lettuce. And uh, that's all she wrote. A little less uh, visually appealing than Bites Asian Kitchen. All right, Corey, traveling the world. Double Kung Pao crispy chicken. Cheers. Cheers. That was pretty good. I was curious if this was just gonna be two like McChicken patties, and then the sauce is the Kung Pao sauce. Seems like it. And that's just like boom, bam, boom, easy to do. Which I'm fine with it, because I love the McChicken patty. And if you put two of them on a sandwich, I'm not mad about it. I think there's other sauces I'd rather have. Yeah, but Kung Pao's almost like a, it's like a sriracha mayo or something. You know, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it. Hey, what is this? Kung Pao. I think I'd rather just have two McChicken patties. My first bite was just the McChicken patties. Mm -hmm. I think I like that better than I like the Kung Pao sauce. Yeah, I mean, it does have that little like Asian hint, the like sweetness in the sauce. I'm tasting that now. It's a big sandwich though. This one also like Tuesday's sandwich was also $7. Yeah, I guess I'm not a Kung Pao fan maybe. I've never gotten Kung Pao, I don't think, I don't know. I'll be honest with you, man. As somebody who's gotten a lot of Kung Pao in his life, this is not a representation of the Kung Pao flavor of Chinese culture. Kung Pao sauce is also not aioli based looking. <laughs> but I like it more than Tuesdays. I'll tell you that. All right, before we rate that one here today, vlog shout out, vlog shout out, vlog shout out. Was this last week? We dropped on the Corey and Sean channel a brand new What to Do in Christmas. Today, the day after Christmas, you know, you missed out on all the fun. Pick you up. Ask me where I'm going and where with ya I'ma get the money till it brings the truck So we're at the London house, about to go to this little maker's mark thing Who knows what it is, I'm excited to find out Number six without cheese, bitch Number six with no cheese What you know about that? How mad are you guys regretting bringing us? <laughs> I'm are you sad you brought us? It goes kick, kick, foot down Kick, kick, don't look down Take a step back, turn up brown who taught you how to stop? Who taught you how to stop? But there's a lot of stuff you can still do. Chris Kittle Market has since closed, but you can st still go rock out that Maker's Mark installation at the London House. You can still go have so much fun at the Chicago Athletic Association. It was a great time. It was excellent. Such a fun time. You know the MVP of that vlog? Who's that? King Kylie. King Kylie. Oh my God. She beast. So if you have not yet subscribed to Corey and Sean, go check it out. Check out the most recent vlog. That one was a banger. And uh, new uploads whenever we want to upload. All right, score time. Out of five, Yao Mings. How many Yao Mings, really tall icon today, do you give the Kung Pao double crispy chicken sandwich from McDonald's International Menu, Corey? Well, I'll say start, uh, if you want to listen to me, do it with a huge grain of salt because I don't know if I like Kung Pao sauce because I didn't like that sauce. So if you like Kung Pao sauce and that tastes like Kung Pao sauce, then maybe you'll like that sandwich. Um, I preferred every bite that wasn't, had, didn't have any sauce on it. I love the McChicken. I don't know if that's different than the McChicken. It didn't really taste that much different. It tasted just like the spicy McChicken to me. Yeah. And all of those bites were delicious, of course. It's just two McChickens piled on top of each other, which I enjoy. Um, but the, as for the Kung Pao portions, not for me, don't really care for it. I'm gonna give that a 2.25. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, 
the more that I have that on my palate, I feel like that sauce was like, you know when you get sushi and you get like a spicy like mayo or sauce on it and they kind of dab it on some of the pieces? That's almost more of like what that tastes like to me than a Kung Pao. I think the Kung Pao name is just for the marketability or something because that's like a common like Chinese flavor, like Kung Pao chicken. I just don't think that is Kung Pao at all. Um, nevertheless, I mean, pretty smack down in the middle for me. Like if I got handed that, I'd be fine with it and I'd eat it for lunch and be like, that's cool. But I'm never gonna go back there again and go, guys, you gotta get this. I'm going straight in the middle, average piece of food. The price is a little high, but I like the sauce a little bit. 2.5. Golf claps, golf claps. Guys, go check out the vlog. We just launched uh, last week. Sixer sauce. So if you haven't gotten our hot sauce yet, number six with cheese.com, partnered up with Chef Iron Mike. We'll see you tomorrow, Friday, for a brew interview episode on the show. Keeping it rolling five days a week in 2020. See you guys tomorrow.